viewers, welcome to episode 2 of the British uh, campaign, which, um, yeah, this is, as I said in the previous one, after the last one on the same day, although it took a little longer than planned, I will just um, let Mr. Robbo know if he wants to come back. So, the on we have about 2.1 billion, so the on strikes twenty of those are fine. And get Twitch chat up on the phone, so yeah. There's uh, twenty of those which each of them are going to have to have HMS put on to them, so I will do that when the time it comes. Well, yeah, I'll do this one though as a HMS HMS Duran though. You know what? I won't do that much more. I should really just leave this to and just to free time. Yeah, I'll no, just leave the rest to free time. The Shaftesbury's, unfortunately, are going to have sixteen of them rebuilt. Instead, are only going to have twelve built. And then we have 700,000 left, which, first off, we'll build a whole bunch of Spandau Ballets. 40 Spandau Ballets. Ah, you're watching his moon mission. Good. Yep, I'm just finishing building the Spandau Ballets, and now I'm building the destroyers that is under the name you wanted. We'll build 69 of those, and destroyers number 70 is going to be the fives. Which, um, I will just go all the way down to HMS fives and, uh, wait, no, I have to wait till after this. Done. So yeah, if you see the fleet composition, that's what we were able to get with 2.1 billion Robo. And I know who I want to have as my first main target. Because their country is known for known for having tea in it, seen as um, ships like Cutty Sark were specially made to get tea from there to the British homeland, aka China. Let's see our research. Rest of the Wehrmacht's overrun, Russian 1941. Okay, so, fuel, oil, there, two terms. Armor forging, and then... Yeah, just two terms on that. And... Yeah, how I'm getting my tea is I'm going to invade China. Or at least that's my hopeful plan. To 
make it T. Increase our transport capacity to this and this next turn we'll get fuel oil. messaging from the band chat yes and long live the queen and king I mean <laughs> yeah even in this time period it's king I still have to get used to saying long live the king <laughs> Whenever mentioning stuff with British and monarchy. Drop bottom, two powder. Mm. Or at least give me some good stuff, yeah. Although. Hold on a second, the clocker is new. Sounds. Yes, where is it? Over there and three turns. Yep, we can send a battle cruiser. Battle cruiser, two light cruisers, and a destroyer. And we shall expand the empire into. Um, Central America. Does the river to run? <laughs> hey Robbo, I've got a sabaton letter for you to guess. As the Wehrmacht overrun, Russia 1941, they don't belong. Well, I don't remember the rest. Uh, France provoking us. Two more turns and then we have... Um, Another expansion to the Empire. Yeah. That's correct. Which actually sing along to that song on the bus earlier led to an awkward situation where I had to be like, no, 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 I'm talking, it's talking about an event of World War Two, not nowadays. Yeah, I'm not listening to that, well, there's not listening to it out loud, that song for a while. Three turns and we get uh, the destroyers as well on that end, but turn we get better stereoscopic range hiding. I'm gonna wait till 1911 before I even begin refitting, and hopefully our conquest will succeed. I am trembling in fear. The Germans have completed a Yurik. Well, that job done. Back to Kingston with you. Submarines, nah. I 
have no idea for that one, Robbo, if I'm being honest. And I am not going to cheat by going out and um, going to Google. What I am going to do, though, is just a uh, couple of more eight adding HMS to the ships here. I've got to do this almost a hundred, well, over a hundred times, so, yeah. I'm never just going to do something like this again. I should really leave this or um off camera, but oh, we don't have that many battleships left to go through. I'll do the last of the battleships and then. back we've got new territories research is off from rangefinders armor forging for three turns yeah Robo I don't know the lyric course doesn't help. <laughs> then you're gonna give a name of a song and then it's like, oh god I know that one, I just don't know the... I haven't heard A Lifetime of War, so... So yeah, I'm not surprised that I didn't get that one. And I need to add that to that song I should actually start listening to. Well, have a listen to. Oh yeah, and they've got Alaska. Um, While this next turn is loading up, Robo, I'll get you a lyric. Which, um, the only clue I'm going to give you to my lyric is when I get it up. Um, hope you're um, good with your knowledge of. Eighties one hit wonders. Tongue tied or short of breath, don't even try. That's your lyric. Tongue tied or short of breath, don't even try.
I have the I have the Swedish version on my playlist. Anyway, any guesses to my lyric? <laughs> I could pull out one of my acoustics to play the intro bass line, although it would sound off because it's an octave up, but it might give you a bit of help. Well, have you ever heard of a band called Kajagoogoo? And no, I'm not having a laugh, that's their actual name, or was their actual name because they um, split up, then briefly reformed on a TV show. Well, it's their one hit wonder song called Too Shy. Well, I should say one hit wonder in the US. Um, they had a couple more hits in the UK than the US, but well, no, actually not UK, uh, Europe. Mostly, um, mostly the country of ABBA over here. The country of ABBA and Ghost, which is basically ABBA if they were metal, and um, Sabaton, aka Sweden. Oh, I forgot Hammerfall. Um, It's also next door to the country of where dead bodies are used as album covers. <laughs> That's my reference to black metal dumb. To focus on next would be getting the better, getting better crop. What? There's no turning back, fight or fall. And before the attack, when your blood starts to boil in your veins as you charge, hundreds fall. Yeah, Swedish pagans marching ashore, forged in Valhalla by the hammer of Thor. It's good that you're going to see him, Robbo. understood what you meant there. <laughs> Question, is it true that in the live shows the guitarist assaults your Akuma guitar picks whenever it's in the first of the battle first to the feast part of Swedish Pagans? <laughs> Because that's just a running joke of, um... <laughs> ah. I think that's the other reason other than it takes up a slot that could have been used for a newer song of why he hates Swedish pagans. Also through live videos I've seen of Sabaton, they um sometimes as well for resistant bite before they do it, um make jokes towards the fact that your keen can't properly play guitar or something. Yeah, I I think there were some occasions where, because of the crowd, they actually had to play Swedish Pagans twice in a live set. <laughs> once at the start, once at the end, well near the start, near the end. Well, I actually... 
actually do know how to play one of Resistant Bites riffs. Two of them actually. I can play this sort of like intro, intro slash verse riff that um, if I remember correctly live Chris plays and then I can play the chorus riff. Not going to demonstrate now because of time constraints but That sounds like a thing that Tommy would get everyone to do. <laughs> ah. Oh no, the Spanish have done a Russian and for our fishing vessels were military ships. Canada won an on strike class. I'll leave that in the notes of stuff to look up on YouTube. Alongside HMS by Joe. As I don't know when, but a viewer had recommended that I look up Dracunapel's video on it, HMS by Joe. HMS on strike. Hmm. Rather, do I give Canada an on strike class? Or not? And if I do give them an on strike class, do I? keep it for myself. Um, <laughs> decisions, 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 decisions. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Which one shall I choose? You are not getting an on strike class because if you do, our shipyards will go on strike. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Where's the province saying for Newfoundland on here? That's Central Canada, but then it's like St. John's, but where does it show? Um, I think the easiest way to do that would actually get um, invasion of America and then I'll have easy invasion access to parts of Canada, yeah. I don't even think in the 1890s you actually had Canada as part of the British Empire. I know you have Australia still at the time, which um, I kind of wish now I did in 1890 start, but then I would be um, ripping my hair out with using pre-dreadnoughts. <laughs> Like, the only nation I would, okay, we'll give you Destroyers Canada, the only nation I would agree to do pre-dreadnought error on is France. If I do a French campaign, it would be with um, pre-dreadnoughts because, 
about the French pre-dreadnoughts, I love them. Like, France is the only interesting nation with pre-dreadnoughts as of right now in the game. Oh yeah, Quebec as well. Should we do our best to... Should we... Should I, when in a French campaign, just do my best to recreate, um... Quebec. Oh yeah, um... This is my way to uh, save the HMS 5s from... Okay, then we will do a Quebec recreation as accurate as we can at least when we do a French campaign yeah the fives is being mothballed to well it's called mothballs but it's actually she's a part of the department of historical preservation as what ship we use to research how oil would work on one of our ships Wait, no, as this is Britain, it's the Royal Department of Historical Preservation of the Royal Navy. Uh, two more turns and we get the crop. Robo, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and actually um, have one ship of each class survive till the end of the campaign, attempt to, outside of fives of course because fives, I don't care if it gets sunk or not but I'm just keeping it around because of the challenge. Canada won an on strike. No, we won't give you H an HMS on strike class. You forget. You forget our shipyards will just go on strike. Okay, okay, next time next time it gives the offer of an on strike of being given to them, I will give it to them. As chat requests. That is of course after we've done with refitting the Shaftesbury's with new modern tech. Nah, I'll give them their on strike. I'll give them their on strike, but then say that the um, shipyards went on strike and so we can't give you the ship, we'll just purchase it off of you. No. Should I be mean like that or not? Turret mechanisms just there. Stuff there. Okay, so the Shaftesbury's go into refit. Oh, I know a city. I know a city or town. We actually need to name a ship after. Yes, yes, we're going to do what they, what we did with Agincourt to Canada, well, what we did in real life to Agincourt to Canada. You 
you get oil added, which means you are now as efficient as you could possibly be right now, fuel wise. Citadel goes up, Grounds of Blood's still the best we have. That's still the best we have. That's now the best we have. That's now the best we have. Your range can increase. No, not HMS, not HMS Hull. No, I'm going to be calling a ship HMS Salisbury. Which, um, interesting story, the IRL HMS Salisbury was involved in an instance where it sunk half a ship. Yeah, um... <laughs> no! <laughs> well... Well, actually, if I do a HMS leak, it would be funny in a battle when it gets a flood near it, it's like, Oh no, the leak is leaking! <laughs> The Shaftesbury refit is... <laughs> yeah, Robert, it's actually quite an interesting story though, like I was mentioning, that there was a missile frigate called HMS Salisbury which got involved with But yeah, there was a missile frigate, HMS Salisbury, that was involved in a strange instance where a gas tanker had split in two and the bow end was still floating, and the company had contacted the Royal Navy and had asked the Royal Navy very kindly if they could sink the ship for them. The Royal Navy for some reason obliged and they end up sinking half a ship. And no, I'm not making it up. <laughs> HMS Favourite, you are now no longer HMS Favourite. You are HM... Oh. You are HMS... HMS leak. <laughs> like Kamchatka. Yeah. You are no longer that. You are HMS S. Is that how you spell Salisbury? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I will use the power of text-to-speech to check. Salisbury. Say L. I. HMS Salisbury. Here's the thing I Here's the funny thing, I don't actually know the name of the city where I go into almost daily for my educational purposes and band practice purposes as well. HMS Little Clyde. I'm just HMSing the battle cruisers right now, whilst they are in refit. HMS Princess Royal. HMS Enterprise. Uh, just as a bit of a um. Is 
Is it another one from the Colossus Rex album? I wouldn't know. Well, I'm going to give the HMS Enterprise a designation because... Because the number six is always going to be associated with an Enterprise. <laughs> is it a Mana Moth? I only know one of Mana Moth's song. I'll have to quickly look through my Spotify playlist to check which one it is I actually know, but um... British and um... It's not Maiden, is it? Oh, we have Destroy Hind here. Uh, H. No. HMS. Golden Hind. Not made, yeah. Singer Scottish. British band Singer Scottish. Most likely metal. Um, no, it's not. Pirate. The only pirate metal band I can think of is Ailstorm. Ailstorm, okay. Um, then I I only know one Ailstorm song. <laughs> it's not Mexico. I know that for certain. Of course they'll have a song like called that. Ah. Okay. Boilers, boiler efficiency upgrades. Button turns. Okay, I've got a lyric for you. From Ember to Inferno. And I'll give you the clue of that the guitarist lead singer, well, one of the two guitarists, who also doubles up the lead singer of the group, has been a part of the group since he was 13. Yes, Canada, I'll give you a prize. <laughs> if I say trivium, does that help you? And I should also mention that it's on their first ever album, which was done when the lead singer guitarist was actually my age. <laughs> and I, in my musical endeavours, are not doing anything as extreme as an album. Now I'm only just doing an EP, which is a lot less songs. A lot less hassle. It's, um, the title of the song was in the lyric, lyric I mentioned, Ember to Inferno.
Trivian songs I know is Ember to Inferno in Waves. Paul Hiram the Strings Your Master. Um what the Phalanx and to the Rats. Which I'm gonna say just because I'm a naval warfare dude that definitely Matt Heafy named the Phalanx after the Phalanx closing weapon system. Russians in the Okay, this is a panic this is a panic mode, um panic mode. Where's the Royal Fleet at right now? They're mostly stuck in Ireland. Okay, we'll send the HMS Shaftesbury to intercept them in the English Channel. You Russians aren't going to sink my... You Russians aren't going to sink my fishing vessels. Send everyone in Ireland towards them. Wait, what's that? The Russians have sunk a couple fishing vessels. <laughs> Hold on a second, isn't it a bit uh too late for an instance like that? We already had um the whole instance by this point of um Dogger Bank. No quick call Barrison out of reti hold on a second, is it retirement or is it the grave? Um spare was Admiral Beresford still alive by, um, 1911? June of 1911? Hold on. Let me just check that. Policies. How are our relations with the world? Uh, Robbo? Expect a German war soon. Do you want to know a really funny and interesting um, fact? A YouTuber on YouTube who's popular for saving abandoned airplanes has actually purchased the only private jet of Elz Elvis Presley's that isn't in Graceland. The only private jet that Elvis Presley owned that isn't in Graceland 
is owned by an idiot YouTuber who has decided to try and give it flight again. Here's the funny thing as well though, originally that YouTuber wasn't supposed to actually get the plane but then um, a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes happened involving her. It was one of those drunk, um, drunk bidders that won and so, yeah. Anyway, carry on this little bit. Oh yeah, I should also mention that that YouTuber I mentioned also has a MiG. Also has a MiG, a T6, two P-51s. And then just a whole bunch of general aviation aircraft. But when I say a whole bunch, uh, two, three maybe, but then he just draws on the YouTube channel. Uh, he's the the YouTuber's called uh, Jimmy's World, who most known for saves the free town stuff. Okay, okay, Canada, you'll get your um. Okay, Canada, you'll get your um. strike class battleship. It's hold on a second. What's this? I've increased tensions with the Austro Hungarians. Oh no. We're going to go to war. No, we're going to go to war. We need an extra battleship that definitely is going to that definitely is going to be in service in time for the end of the war. Definitely. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm sorry, but the Prince George is not going to be one of your ships. You know what? Um, what was the desert? Oh, never mind. Watch out, a short Austrian. <laughs> Not if I have any say in it, he won't cause a problem. HMS Prince. Oh yeah, you still get your fives class destroy though. Don't worry. Now, do I send an invasion force to Croatia? What am I saying? Of course I do. If I can rob them of all their ports almost immediately, then... Well, when I say almost immediately, it'll be, a, you know, a massive naval invasion. I'll take a whole bunch of time and yeah, we'll go to war Germany as well actually and instead we will invade Heligoland. Yes, I will love an invasion of Heligoland please and uh, 
do so, we will send the entire Portsmouth fleet, which includes HMS Shaftesbury, because that's our best fleet we have. Now, convoy engagement, light cruisers, and a central Mediterranean battle to like, uh, light cruiser and light cruiser. I'll do this one, and then it will have to be the end of the stream. So, you get one battle, then it's goodbye. Well, good night, I should say. Retribution here is going to fight against and hopefully kill an annoying Austro-Hungarian light cruiser. Load high explosives. Turn off the void. Torpedoes to save. quicker than us. We found the range. Oh, damn it. Actually fired torpedoes. Actually fired torpedoes. Oh. Aggressive firing. Sink it before they sink us. They're gonna sink us. Be very quiet, we're dead. We're dead. I should have done this. I should have done that, Robbo. But no. I didn't. I didn't, and we've now taken the first loss of the war. And with that, it's going to be the end of the stream. I hope you enjoyed. At least Robbo, because he's been here. But YouTube viewers as well, I hope you enjoyed. And for those of you YouTube viewers who have been watching all the way through and like, Yes, I'm the first public view! No, that's Robbo, and if you're saying first view in general, that would be me. <laughs> Closely followed by Robbo. Anyway, <laughs> silent service going silent.